Hello guys, Mick here from Friendly Dog Collars. Well, finally back in stock are our training double-ended leads. And I'm now able to give you a full demo on how these work on our pulling dogs and how they correct their pulling. So basically with the double-ended lead, and oh, by the way, this is Jimmy here, a beautiful little dog, a uh, mate of mine. Um, quite a big dog. He's running at about 40 kilos at the moment. Um, so these uh, particular strap harnesses are good on really big dogs and we know how important it is to control the pulling of our big powerful dogs. Do you want to face the camera Jimmy or what? <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to give you a bit of a demo on the way we fit our strap harnesses up. Um, and So to start with we've got four adjustments on our strap harness. Obviously the one around the belly and the two coming into this uh, front ring area here. And we've also got a, an adjustment down the sternum area. Now that adjustment there either brings the belly strap right up under the armpits or allows it to go further back. Now one of the main things we've got to do, and I see this problem happen a lot, um, and you've probably heard the problem as well of dogs pulling out, uh, slipping out of harnesses. Now the main issue or the main reason why that happens is the harnesses simply aren't Hello mate, yeah, we've got an interruption. One that's alright. You can have a pat. You want a pat in? Yeah, it's, it's good for asking too, mate. Well done for asking. Now, he's a big boy, isn't he? <laughs> Why are you talking about him? Oh, because we're just we're, <laughs> we're describing how to use this uh, this uh, double-ended lead, and, uh, and you're on camera, mate. Oh, I work pretty well there. Yeah. So we're we're doing a video. Oh my, what's there? Because this one goes on this spot, like that. Alright, we're back to it. Yeah, one of the main problems with dogs pulling out of harness is they're just not tight enough. So what we've really got to do is make sure this belly strap is really tight because dogs only have a very narrow chest area here to, for the harness to pull over. So if that belly strap's not tight enough, that belly strap's not tight enough the dog can get out of it. So make sure if you're having issues with dogs pulling out of the harness that you have this belly strap really tight. Now it's like a horse too. Don't be scared to tighten that right up. Now this is actually reasonably loose because Jimmy's a very good le good lead walker so I don't need it that tight. But I would tighten that right up if you've got a dog that's just new into training into a harness because we don't want him getting out. Alright, so from there I've just gone through now the adjustments on this particular training, training harness. And this is the front ring here we talk about. This is the corrective ring. Now, I often see people walking a front lead harness and they're just not quite getting it right. I often see people with one lead clipped on this front ring and you see harnesses too will have a side ring as well. The idea of this front ring is actually like a brake in a car. You don't have your foot on the brake all the time. This is just a correction, so you hit it intermittently. Your main walking is off the back, and if the dog's playing up, then you correct. It's like the car. If you need to hit the brakes, you hit the brakes, but you don't ride on the brakes. So have no weight on this front ring at all. All your weight's gotta be off the back. So if your dog's walking properly, your weight's here. But if he's playing up, you pull on that and pull him around, and that's the correction. So don't learn to walk your dog off the front ring. It's simply just a corrective tool. All right, so let's take a bit of a walk with Jimmy here and I'll give you a bit of a demo. Now this particular dog walks really well on a harness, so it's a little bit harder for dogs that are just starting out. But anyway, we can demonstrate it and you'll get the idea. So the first thing we gotta do with the, with the front ring is have it on the right side of the body. So we've got to be able to pull from this side. So you've got to stand on the side that you want to pull from. If you've got the lead coming over his shoulder and you're trying to pull that way, it's very confusing for the dog. So the first thing when you're training a dog is get him to walk on the one side all the time. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off here pretty quick. I need to get Jimmy up to a bit of pace so I can get him walking strongly. All right, Jimmy, let's go. And I'm just going to pull on the lead when he's walking hard. So that's your front ring pull. It just pulls him off his balance. So let's do that again. All right, Jimmy, let's go. So a dog's at its strongest when the harness is pulling from the middle of the back. And this is where a lot of people are struggling with their dogs pulling because now he's at his optimal strength and he only wants to pull, do his pull and go hard. 
But see now, if we're having trouble with this and he's pulling hard, what we do is bring our front ring into, into play and you pull him off his balance, you stop him. Sit, sit Jimmy, sit down. Good boy, good boy. So you, your training walks have got to be small until your dog is fully trained on a harness. The best way to train is just in short increments. It's no, a, a five minute, well, a, a good walk five minutes long is far better than a 5K walk that's rubbish. So let's give this a go again. We'll go back up here. I'll put, first thing I've got to do is put the lead on the right side. What I might do, I'm just going to tighten this in a bit more. Now this is a brand new harness, so it just takes a little bit of adjusting until it settles into place. All right, let's go back this way, Jimmy. All right, you ready? Come on, let's go, let's go. Good boy, good boy. Nice and quick, good boy, let's go, let's go. Good boy. All right, then your correction is simply like that. That's all we're doing. We're pulling him off his balance. We're pulling him around. Then we stop. A brand new dog training. Obviously, when you pull him around, you sit him down, take his focus away from what he was pulling towards, sit him down and start all over again. All right, we'll do this again. So pay attention when I it's pay attention to when I take the, the pressure off the back lead to the front. It's just like riding a horse, really. When you need a horse to turn, you pull in that direction. Alright. I know it's a bit confusing, Jimmy. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Good boy. So it's as simple as that. Very it's, it's a pleasant walk for the dog. There's nothing wrapped around the around the face. They're not choking on collars. Um, your chain collars, they're all gone now because of this, this great type of harness. And all we're doing is pulling him off his balance. Okay guys, a few other advantages of the double-ended lead that I haven't spoken about. So the longevity of these products is immense because once your dog is then now loose lead walking, you can simply change over from your double-ended lead to a nicer single lead. Alright, so when you're out in public and you want to give him plenty of room, you can go out to your longest length lead and he's got nearly two metres there. I said I was meeting him All right, so now if you're obviously another option with this particular lead is if you're in a crowd, you can, you can shorten it right up to the first ring and now you've got yourself a short lead. Now another really handy one, particularly we have this training lead also in our assistance, assistance range and our nervous range, but another really handy feature with this, if you've got a couple of kids and your hands are full, one of my favorite options is to sash it. So your dog's still under control, he's still, he's still with you and you've got your hands to carry kids skateboards and whatever the kids decide to dump on you on the day out. So this is a very, very common with our um, working dogs, our assistance dogs, and service dogs, um, because those dogs are working and with their owner, with their partners the whole time. The assistance dog, uh, the sash type uh, training lead or sash lead, is very handy for carrying uh, two objects in your hands full type of setup. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I've finally got the double ended training lead on video now. Um, I hope that's helped. Now particularly for you for the poor the people that are struggling with pulling dogs we just know how dangerous it is for a dog to lunge and pull if you lose control he can pull you over he can run out in front of a car cause an incident with another dog that's not so friendly you know so this is ultimately the best control you can have over a dog at all times is to pull him off his balance see i've got total control there i can just pull him off his balance straight away in any direction. Now all you're looking for is just that little correction to pull that strength out. So anyway guys, that's our training double ended lead. And it's been a long time coming that video. So sorry about that, but now we're fully stocked up with our training double ended leads. Thank you very much.